<laughs> Ethereum might be the second biggest cryptocurrency on the market, but that doesn't mean that it's not potentially, well, fast track to huge problems. The protocol needs to process vast amounts of data and transactions, yet its current technology can't quite handle it, leading to slow transaction times and soaring fees, with an average of around $20 per transaction. Now, Ethereum's in-house team is scrambling to solve the problem with Ethereum 2.0, but the strong demand for smart contracts and low fees is making people look elsewhere. The value locks in layer twos is growing fast, with more than $4 billion in Polygon alone. If you're wondering what these layer twos are, or doubting whether they can really overtake Ethereum, well, you're in for a treat. Here at Atomic Wallet, we've built a decentralized wallet where you can store and exchange more than 300 coins, including Polygon's Matic token. So it's fair to say that we know a thing or two about the crypto space. And if you're like us, you can't get enough of everything blockchain, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell on our channel so you don't miss out on more insider knowledge about the moves and shakers of the crypto world. Polygon was founded back in 2017, although back then it was actually originally called Matic Network, which explains why its native token is Matic Coin, even though the protocol changed its name to Polygon in 2021. Now, Matic Coin was first launched at a value of $0.0035 back in May of 2019. And for a while, it failed to enjoy any price increases whatsoever. But finally, it saw a change in 2021. In May, its value rose all the way to $2.45. Now, as the crypto crash came in May of that year, it dropped down to about $0.8, but enjoyed a second price increase at the end of the year when it reached an all-time high of $2.80. Although it's pretty normal for cryptocurrencies to see some kind of price fluctuation, there's an extra piece of the puzzle when it comes to Matic. Part of the reason for its price drop is due to vesting. Matic coin is periodically sold by its early investors, who basically want to take advantage of the price rises. But this stops the highs from being able to last that long. An even more concerning point is that the Polygon Foundation, the non-profit organization associated with the protocol, is also selling its holdings of Matic in a bid to raise money. And unfortunately, it's not exactly being transparent about how it's going about this either. Now, this is a cause for concern for those considering investing. Fortunately, it now seems that most of the vesting may be finished. So if you're still interested, it looks like we have a few questions to clear up. First of all, what is Polygon? We've already said that Polygon could be the savior to solve all of Ethereum's problems, but we haven't exactly explained how. Well, buckle up, because this is gonna get pretty complex. Solutions to solving Ethereum's problems tend to come in two categories. Layer 1 and Layer 2 scaling solutions. Ethereum itself is Layer 1, since it's where the original code lies. Other Layer 1 solutions replace aspects of the original protocol and effectively create an alternative layer. Meanwhile, Layer 2 solutions build on top of the first layer, making new additions on separate blockchains to basically take pressure off of layer one without having to change its code. Now, both of these layers aim to increase efficiency, transaction speeds, and scalability, but they go about it in slightly different ways. Polygon is a layer two scaling solution and the leading one at that, although other protocols like Optimism and Arbitrum are doing something similar. There are also some layer one protocols like Avalanche that Polygon is really competing with, and we'll be adding a detailed comparison of these two shortly. So make sure to subscribe and you won't miss it. Polygon's mainnet went live in 2020, but despite being around for years and raising plenty of money, it technically isn't fully live yet. Now that's because it's in the process of building additional chaining solutions in a bid to become an internet of blockchains for Ethereum. It's a catchy name, but what does it mean? Well, Polygon's end goal here is to connect various blockchain networks together and make them compatible with Ethereum. Now this would truly skyrocket scalability and open up more possibilities for application builders. Polygon's POS chain uses Ethereum's Plasma, which means it has a copy of the Ethereum blockchain to use for security. Polygon validators send a snapshot of the POS to Ethereum, while a separate group of block producers validates transactions. And as a result, it uses Ethereum's core mechanisms for security, which is something, by the way, that Ethereum does very well. But because the system ends up being more centralized, it can process transactions faster, therefore overcoming the protocol's core problems. And as for the Matic coin itself, it's an ERC-20 token that's used for staking by validators and delegators. It's also used to pay fees on POS, which is why it's key to keeping everything going. The big question is here, can we expect Polygon to stick around and even perhaps 
surpass Ethereum one day. Now, Ethereum is in the process of launching Ethereum 2.0, as we've spoken about now. This aims to solve the problems that Avalanche and Polygon are actually trying to overcome by moving from its resource draining proof of work verification method to a more efficient proof of stake system. Or maybe layer one scaling solutions like Avalanche could give Polygon a run for its money. Plus, Polygon faces potential competition from other layer two scaling solutions like Arbitrum and Optimism, which also have seen investment and integrations. Polygon is still the leader by a long way, but we all know that things can move very quickly in the crypto world. Now, basically, we've got a lot of what ifs here. Polygon has also faced a lot of criticism due to its lack of transparency and decentralization, considering that relatively few producers are involved in verifying transactions. And nobody knows who they are, by the way. Plus, there are still plenty more side chains and milestones to go before Polygon is fully launched. But there is reason to be optimistic here, and the protocol is plenty in the pipeline. The Polygon chain is now integrated with Binance and Coinbase wallets, and this has massively increased its number of users. Moreover, many major products have already turned to Polygon to increase their efficiency, such as Decentraland and Aave. It even has a partnership with the multinational professional services company EY, Ernest & Young and counts Mark Cuban as an investor. Now in the future, Polygon has put aside some funds for Polygon developers to develop their projects on the chain, including a $1 billion fund for zero-knowledge scaling technologies. It's also building its own gaming studio to capitalize on the blockchain gaming trend. Now that's a lot to get excited about, but is Polygon really the future of blockchain transactions? Or is it about to get overshadowed by, say, Ethereum 2.0 or other competitors such as Avalanche? Well, let us know what you think in the comments below. And don't forget to leave a like on the video if you've learned something or if you've enjoyed it. And if you're bullish about Matic, you might also be interested in holding it on an Atomic wallet, a decentralized wallet that allows you to exchange and trade your crypto all from one interface. And by the way, there's plenty more where this came from. We are committed to giving you the lowdown on all the hottest blockchain projects and other must-know info. So make sure to subscribe to our channel and also hit the notification bell to get an update every time we release a new video. Thanks for joining us.